Okay, brawlers, let's get you up to speed with a quick tutorial covering the controls and strategies you'll need to bring your teams to victory on the streets of Knockout City. When you start up the game, you'll automatically load into your hideout. This is your own personal game lobby where you can practice the game controls, customize your character, queue up for a match, and hang out with friends if you're grouped up in a party. Knockout City has familiar shooter-based controls. Move with the left stick, or WASD keys on a keyboard, and use the right stick or a mouse to control the camera. Press the left stick, or shift, to sprint. The A button, or space bar, will jump. Hitting the jump button a second time while in the air will pop out a glider that you can use to float safely back to the ground. You can control the glider in mid-air with your movement controls. The main goal in Knockout City is to knock out your opponents by throwing balls at them while catching or dodging what they throw at you. To pick up one of the balls scattered across the different locations, simply walk over it. To throw a ball, press the right trigger or left mouse button. Holding down this button before releasing will charge up the ball, making it fly faster when you throw it. Knockout City is based on position and timing, rather than position and aiming, so you'll automatically lock on to your closest opponent when you throw a ball. The B button, or E key, makes you do a spin move. If you throw a ball during a spin, you'll throw a curve shot, which is used to maneuver around obstacles or attack your opponent from a different angle. The Y button, or Q key, will make your character flip. Similar to curve shots, throwing a ball during a flip will perform a lob shot, which will arc the ball in the air to travel over obstacles on its way to the target. Both spins and flips can be used in mid-air, giving you a little extra bounce to help you reach a high ledge. Changing up the speed, angle, and timing of your throws will make it harder for your opponent to catch the ball. For a fun trick, perform a fake throw by pressing the right stick or pressing the F key. This is a purely visual action which you can use to trick your rival into attempting a catch, giving you a window to chuck the ball at them for a hit. Dodge brawling needs catching as much as it needs throwing. If you're in your hideout, head to the nearby rooftop to play catch with the dummy. Stand on the purple X and it will start throwing balls at you for practice. Press the left trigger or right mouse button to catch an oncoming ball. You'll need to time this properly to catch. Catching at the last possible moment will perform a perfect catch. This powers up the ball, making it fly even faster when you throw it at an opponent. A series of perfect catches will keep increasing the speed of the ball faster and faster with every perfect catch and throw. When an opponent is aiming at you, you'll have a red border around your screen. When you're being aimed at from off-camera, you'll see a directional indicator that will intensify when someone throws a ball your way. Press the X button, or Control key, to dodge out of the way of the ball. If you're not facing the right direction to catch, a dodge might be the only way to avoid getting hit. If you're feeling aggressive, dodge into an oncoming ball to safely deflect it and close the gap between you and an opponent. Dodging into another player will tackle them, knocking them back and forcing them to drop the ball they're holding. The various special balls are also available near the dummy if you want to check out how those work before jumping into a game. We've stressed how important teamwork is in Knockout City, and passing is one of the best ways to coordinate. Press the left bumper, or middle mouse button, to pass to your closest teammate. Passes are automatically caught, and automatically charge up the ball as well, immediately ready to be thrown faster at an opponent. To take your teamwork to the next level, hold the right bumper, or ALT key, to drop to the ground and ball up. You can roll around the level in ball form, and rolling into a teammate will let them pick you up, or they can throw you at an opponent like a regular ball. If they charge you up before throwing, they'll perform an ultimate throw, and you'll have a moment to adjust your positioning before landing in a huge explosion. Hitting an enemy in ball form is always an instant KO. Be careful to not let the other team catch you in ball form, or they can use you against your teammates or just toss you off the map. If this happens, mash the jump button to escape their grasp. Finally, to celebrate a win with your team or maybe just rub it in your rivals' faces, press up on the D-pad or the 1 key to taunt. Using this liberally won't improve your skills, but it won't not improve your skills either, so go nuts! Before queuing up for a match, practice with the dummy for a bit, and don't forget to explore the customization menu to adjust your appearance. 
There's a lot to choose from, and nothing's stopping you from changing up your look every few matches until you find the perfect style for you. And just like that, you're ready to dodge brawl. See you in Knockout City.